Hey guys, Cam here from todaysiphone.com and I'm excited because I've got the book book for iPhone 5 by 12 South. These things cost $59.99, but essentially uh, once you've got it you shouldn't ever need a wallet again. It's a case slash wallet for your iPhone that looks like a little mini book. Uh, so I'm going to open this. Now, I've had the book book for iPad before. This is the first time I've had my hands on the one for iPhone. So we'll give this a look and see see what it's like. I really like this packaging. It's like this uh, book sleeve it's made to look like with all the details on the back. Obviously all genuine leather as you'd expect with it costing $60 it's not going to be fake leather. Move that to one side and see what else is in here. 12 South stickers, awesome. Uh, and some little cards with the rest of the book book range on there. I'll put those stickers on my MacBook, I think. So let's uh, open this up and see if there's anything else except the case. You see there's a card, you push. It's just saying thank you. So you can put driver license, wallets and anything in there. Obviously the sleeve here is for cash and then your phone goes in this part. Uh, sometimes manufacturers put screen protectors inside these things. So I'm just gonna see if they have... Nope, that's just a cardboard cutout that's made to look like an iPhone. <laughs> So that's the case. Now I'll give you a quick tour of the case before I put the phone inside. Uh, on the spine here is obviously the book book labelling. That's that's how it looks like a book. Now the idea is that not only does it look cool, but it stops people from wanting to take it because it, from the outside, at least from this end, it just looks like it's a book. Um, on the front it's just a plain leather black uh, face and on the back you've got a cutout for your camera. And on the inside is a plastic holder that you slip your iPhone into. It's got this suede lining on it with the 12 South logo embossed on there. And then you have one, two, three, four slots for cards. And obviously the wallet for cash that I've already showed you. Now the stitching does look really nice. I'm just trying to pull it just gently. Not too gently, but enough for day-to-day -day use. And it seems to be holding quite well. I'll put the iPhone in and we'll see what it's like. So there we have it, the iPhone's nicely snug in there, it clips in really well. Um, that's a very sturdy hold, but you've got access to everything you need access to. So if I just focus in on here a little bit, um, you see you've got volume buttons here exposed, your power and lock key is easily accessible, and obviously your ports and speakers etc. all at the bottom, everything is easily exposed and then when you close it that's it uh, you can't really see that the phone is in there fits really well I guess with use um, this front sleeve will stop popping up as much once it's in your pocket um, camera is easily accessible like I said the cutout is really big so that's not going to hinder your photographs at all um, first impression is generally quite good um, I haven't really got many cards lying around on my desk um, but that was e very easy to slide in. That was one of my credit cards, bank cards rather. So yeah, it looks all right. Uh, I'm going to review this on the site, obviously a little bit more in depth. But I just wanted to give you a quick first looks at that. Um, it does look very stylish. Um, whether it's worth sixty dollars or not, I guess I'll find out when I give it a full review later on. But I'm at tip underscore cam on Twitter. If you want to ask me anything about this, feel free. I generally respond to all the tweets. Um, and that's it. I will see you again soon. Goodbye.